Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Multiple dams have failed in Midland, Michigan. Several earthen dams there in Michigan have collapsed, forcing thousands of people to evacuate. Boyce Electric, which has one of the dams, one of the hydro um, facilities, has known since 2004 and has failed to uh, do repairs, upgrades for a major flood. In 2018, the government came in, the federal government, and revoked their license. So, why was repairs never made? Once again, an uh, electric company failing to keep up or do changes for its systems. Yeah, we got here that one of the bridges at um, one of the lakes was washed out. This is the location of one of the dam failures. I have some brief history about this um, dam at this location. This here is the Eldenville Dam. It's a 6,600 foot earthen embankment up to 54.5 feet in height spanning both Kitabawa Sea and Tobacco Rivers in Midland and Gladwin counties. The dam creates a 2,600 acre reservoir known as the Wixman Lake with a gross storage capacity um, of about 40,000 acre feet of water and a 49 mile long shoreline when the dam is full. Well, it's definitely full and overflowing. The dam was equipped with two 2.4 megawatt turbine generators and was licensed for hydropower generating in 1998. They were concerned about a major flood. Um, FERC officials wrote back in 2017. Um, the spillway was not capable of withholding or being able to uh, discharge uh, floodwaters, any major floodwaters. And after years of fighting with them to do upgrades, um, their license was revoked in 2018. So my question is, why wasn't some, why didn't someone step in and start doing the changes? Michigan does have a long history of corruption, abuse of power, not to mention the failing infrastructure where thousands of people are now going to have to be evacuated. My concern is the elderly. Um, are they going to have time or help to get out? Um, there is like four lakes. Um, they're not sure um, if some of these dams along this lake for adjacent areas have failed. But there's also another dam failure here at Sanford. The National Weather Service is warning that life-threatening flooding continues today in Midlands, Michigan after at least two Tabawasi River dams failed upstream of the city. Floodwaters are forecast to crest at about 11.5 meters, 38 feet, this evening at 8 p.m. And I asked the same question as this Twitter post. It seems the feds gave Michigan a big heads up years ago. Why did Whitmer not recognize it and act on the warning? They've had since 2018 to come in and start doing changes. They could have sent the Corps of Engineers into there. They spent 14 years trying to get Edenville Dam owners to improve the spillway protect protection. There was a flyover video posted on Twitter. Um, you can see here the spillway crumbling. Trees being washed away. Yeah, huge trees. Uh, this is uh, Whitman Lake. Governor Whitmer announced that downtown Midland could be under nine feet of water. Along the river, too, is the Dow Chemical plant. Dow Chemical evidently has a lot of influence, or at least it seems like they have a lot of influence. Um, they got gardens, um, parks that they've built, um, different things um, there in Midland. You can see here we got Dow Chemical. That's probably where the plant is at. We got Dow Diamond Outfield, Gate and Ticket Office. Yeah, they have invested a lot of money in this area. This plant is expected to um, 
be flooded. Here is the baseball field using Google Earth. I typed in the address with Google Earth. Um, yeah, maybe that's doubt, but that's supposed to be going to be flooded also. They have a credit union uh, building there. So, yeah, why couldn't they put pressure on um, different people to do improvements? All schools in the area have been closed, but it said, too, that as long as buses can still get to the area schools, breakfast and lunch still will be served. So well, that's kind of odd. Why take the chance? Over here, it's all been evacuated. They've been told to uh, yeah, clear out and go west. Today is Wednesday, May 20th, and since Sunday, they got somewhere close to three inches of rain in this area. Yeah, this is a large area to evacuate. There's also another Twitter post, a video of the Edenville Dam and the Sanford Dam have now both failed. It says residents in Edenville and Sanford evacuate immediately seek higher ground. Another video of the river overflowing Curtis Road Bridge that was posted. Downtown Midland has about 40,000 people. And they're doing door-to-door -door evacuations. Like I said, I worry about the elderly. You know, everyone's in lockdown because of the pandemic. They're under boil their water notification. Well, it's not surprising. Here's the river. And this is uh, the water treatment plant. So they now have about 40,000 acre feet of water that's coming from these failed dams. Or at least the one failed dam which is the Wixman um, Lake and Wixman Dam. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is a disaster that should have never happened in this day and age. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.